Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and I have my Halloween decor haul for you. So first, I just wanna say thank you to a subscriber for sending me the cutest little fall things and the cutest little Halloween things. So this is one of those trays from the Dollar Tree Plus. <laughs> and has a bunch of little ghosties on it. And then I got, I think three of these signs are homemade, so it's a little boo one with the gnomes. I'm here for the boos with the little ghost. And then happy Halloween with the super cute like witch's legs and hat and broom. And then this I believe is Dollar General and it just says Boo Crew on it. And then there is a cute little gnome. And I think it's just black and orange so you could technically use it for fall too but I usually think of Halloween. So I have two trays because there's also just like a wood one that's shaped pretty much like that. It just doesn't have like the ridge around it. So I have two new trays to decorate for Halloween and Christmas and from here on out. So thank you. You know who you are. And let's get into the haul. <laughs> I wanted to show you my It Tis the Season and then it has a cute little like pumpkin and a ghost on there. This is from Etsy. It's the Bella Canvas brand shirt. I always get the direct-to-garment screen printing. So I did get one new Halloween shirt this year and then I have my one from last year also. And then around me is just all my stuff and I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab it. So I have it all here in my basket and I'm just gonna tell you where I got things and show you and tell you kind of a theme I have going maybe a little bit. So these two arrangements are from the Threshold at Target. I first saw this one in store and then I ordered this one offline and I just are, you know what I mean. I love how they're like floppy, the little like um, buds or whatever they're on here. And then this also has some purple flowers in it. And I have other purple flowers. If you watched my totes video, you saw that. But you can kind of arrange it however you want. I can spread it out or keep it more just in the middle. I don't know if I'll use them on my mantle. I'll wear or use them. I was just loving these like black floral arrangements. I thought they were pretty cool. At Casey's, I did find some gummy brains and eyeballs. So I'm gonna have to keep out, I think, one of my like clear pumpkins from fall time and put my little gummies in there. Casey's always has fun little packs of like gummy seasonal candy. And then I also grabbed three packs of skulls from the at-home store. So these are like the medium size and then the baby mini size and the big jam mammer jammers. And these do, like their jaws move on the bigger ones. I thought that was pretty cute. But I like these ones because they're kind of a nice gray white. And then they got the brown like black eyes and they all like look the same. So I finally picked up some skulls. I've been looking at them for the past few years and I finally got some. A couple other things I got from at home is is just this frog or toad, whatever you want to call it. He's just a nice green and I thought he would just kind of be a spooky touch. And then I also grab this little mushroom with the eye. I do have like another eye that I got at home, just like the eyeball. I didn't know if I wanted to put it with this or this, but kind of do purple maybe downstairs I'm thinking a little bit and then upstairs more of the like this black and orange made with a little green. Also grab this little bag of mini black this little foam pumpkins it has doesn't say how many it has but these are from at home too I know you can get little bags of black pumpkins a lot of places. I was thinking like the skulls and these pumpkins would make like a cool like dough bowl or something upstairs. Could either put it in my little one or my big one so I haven't quite decided yet. Also thought these skulls from Target they do have the movable jaw too. Look really good with the skulls from At Home. These are a little more brown and this is a little more black. I think At Home had some kind of like this. I don't remember though. So this is from Target and I think I have two of these. Yeah, I see another one back there. So I do have two of these and we'll see where they all end up. And then at Kirkland's, I grabbed this little ghosty. I just love the little arms it has. And I thought the little face was just super cute. It'd be fun to add to either my shelves or my like little mug stand. And then from the Michaels store, I know they carry these at Hobby Lobby and like Joann's and a lot of different places. I picked up two of these um, dried lotus pods is what I think they're called. I wanna say the ones at Hobby 
Loblobby well, still kind of had seeds in them and I didn't like that. So I grabbed these ones and I'm more than likely gonna pop them off their stick and just kind of use them like in little spots. I thought this would be a nice touch of greenery. A little spooky, but you know, still like that greenery look to it. Another thing I picked up at, at home was these little eyeball steaks. I did grab three of them. I'm planning to put these outside and they do glow in the dark. So I don't know if I'll just stick them in the rocks or if we'll have plants out there, I, I will stick them in. I also grabbed this little moss pumpkin from the Target dollar spot. This They had like a skull and something else. I thought it would go cool with like the frog I got and then that gray like jack-o'-lantern with like the moss on it that I showed you in my totes video. Video. I grabbed this ghost dish from Kirkland's. I thought it was kind of like that star one. It's a lot bigger than the star one. I don't think it's going to fit on a tiered tray. So we'll see what I end up doing with this. But I thought it'd be cute even just sitting with some candies in there. I think it kind of stands up if you want it to. And then I did get two different kind of candles. So these are from at home and these are the bleeding candles. So if you light it, I think it bleeds red. And then these are just some black taper candles I got from Kirkland's. So depending on how many I want to use or if I want to use the bleeding ones, I have my different options. Then I picked up two mugs from Target. I got this jack-o'-lantern one and then it says Happy Halloween inside. A lot of cute ones this year. Some of them are the same as they had last year. And then I also picked up another ghosty. I just thought these were so cute. This one is more shiny. The other one's more matte. I just thought the cute little ghost would be nice. Here's the other skull. I also grabbed this black little jack-o'-lantern. They also had an orange one, but it was bigger. I like the black one and just the shape of this one I think will work better on my trays. I grabbed this crow or raven. I can never tell the difference. It's just a little stand from the at-home store. I just thought this would be nice um, just to set on a shelf or something like that. I don't know how well it would work on like a tiered tray. I was thinking more like mantle or one of my like shelves. This is another at-home grab. They called these the emoji pumpkins. They had this one and then a little bit taller like square one. They didn't have that one when I was down in the store and I couldn't order it from their website. So I just ended up getting the short little one and he got quite the face on him. He's really light colored, but he has quite the face. Another thing from... Kirkland's I grab, and these do have a timer, are these little ghost garland. Let's see if I can get one to position right. So I thought that would just be fun, but it's light up. There's basically like a ping pong ball and then some like cheesecloth or gauze or whatever you want to call that over it. So I'm hoping to put that on the mantle. I can show you the box. I also grabbed this floating frame from Kirkland. It's black. That's what I'm showing you with my Halloween. But I thought this would be cool in my doble upstairs to kind of have this like in the doble and then some like kind of scary stuff or like little stuff or greenery. So that was kind of my thought with this. And then I could put a fun picture of us at Halloween in there or just the boys. It is a four by six. Yeah. Did I show you this? No. Oh, and then I got this at Michael's and I'm gonna do like a witch's kitchen theme in the kitchen And I thought this would look good on the shelf I could think I could even like tie something to it and hang it from the hooks That's kind of gonna be for the shelf That was kind of the purpose of that and then in my fall haul I talked about the little candles I grabbed from crate and barrel and then I also grabbed these little ghosties, they do light up. You see their little eyes and mouth light up. Let me hold them better. I just thought they were super cute, like super perfect tiered tray size. I could put them on my shelf. I can put these about anywhere. Kirkland's had some like bigger versions of these, you know, like these are the mini and then Kirkland's had like the big daddies. They're just so cute. I am so excited to use those. Next, we're gonna do pillows and blankets. I grabbed this blanket from, I wanna say TJ Maxx. Yeah, and it's just one of those Nicole Miller decorative throws. It's just black. I like to have a black blanket for like my blanket ladders for Halloween and the one I have I now use kind of for the dogs on the couch just so it's you know a little softer for them up there and try to protect the couch a little bit. And then I also grabbed two Halloween pillows. So this one is from Target and it's just a pumpkin with a spider and I just like the color of it and all the like greenery on here. I thought it was cool. With all the skull heads and skeletons I <laughs> thought this little peace sign um, skeleton throw would be good. And it's like the Sherpa. So it's like super nice and soft and everything. And this one is from Kirkland's. And I also grabbed this just black one. I have that cream one upstairs now. And this was just the same thing. It's just black. It has that like rough Sherpa here and then kind of the linen. I got both of these for $10 at Target. They were just having like a random sale 
like online they were and I think they were that sale in store but they weren't clearance it was just like and it wasn't all the pillows so I just thought that would be another good black one because you don't want everything like printed and then it just like gets too much I also grabbed an orange and black flamingo the same kind of flamingos I had for the 4th of July and those pink ones I used in the backyard so I do have Halloween mingos to put out which are gonna be fun with my little eyes. I'm gonna do kind of a little Halloween more porch this year because my flowers are still going really good. So I'm not gonna buy mums and throw good flowers away. So we'll see if I get any pumpkins and kind of do a few pumpkins out there with my flowers or what. But as of now, the flowers are still growing. And then the last thing I got was the little hot dog costume. This one is from Old Navy for the pups. I have another one coming. It's just not here yet. And it's a small medium and it fits both of them really well. And of course, they're like annoyed that we put them on. But we've always talked about getting them little wiener dog costumes. So Old Navy was having a good sale. So I picked up a couple of these. And these are nice and squishy and soft on them. And they should last for a while. Well, that was my little Halloween decor haul. So we'll have to see how I use everything and how I decorate my trays after this one. When the next Halloween video will be a tray video. Debating on if I want to do like marathon tray videos or do still my same like short ones so you let me know what you think. Kind of leading towards the marathon just to see how it goes and then you can see all like all of them in one video. I would separate the target tier trays from all my other tier trays. So I wouldn't do like, you know what I mean. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you like the items I got. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.